The raw material was cut into small sizes. Then, three samples of raw material were placed in an oven to dry for 24 hours at 103 plus minus 2 degrees Celsius. It is to determine the moisture content of the raw material. After that, solution of natrium hydroxide was prepared by following the ratio 110 where 400 gram of solid natrium hydroxide and 4000 milliliters of water were measured. Ensure that each cut including the top, middle and bottom of the tree. 400 grams of natrium hydroxide and 4000 milliliters of water then were mixed together and the solution was heated at constant temperature for several minutes. 400 gram of oven dry raw material is added to the hot solution and leave it for an hour. After one hour boiling or cooking process, the raw material fiber goes through the process of rinsing, where in this process, the clicker that containing impurities was removed. Then, squeeze the excess water out from the pop. Then, the weight of the pop produced from this popping process was determined using analytical balance. So, this is the pop from non wood material. First, we need to prepare our material which is newspaper and then cut the newspaper into small piece then weigh the newspaper for amps and concentration users. The next process is hydropulping process using a hydropulper. The pulp material together with the water mixture will be put into the hydropulper. After the button turn on, the machine is activated and the hydropulper process will begin. This process aims to dissolve newspaper. The, the solution will be removed. The next process is the screening process. This process uses a screener to dissolve the pulp material so that it becomes finer. The screening result will be filtered using a filter to get a screen yield. The next process is the beating process. A total of 20 liters of water will be put into the beater. Water will flow around the beater and screen yield will be inserted. This process takes 15 minutes to complete. Fill the hand sheet former with 3 to 5 liter of water. Fill 1 liter of beaten pulp to the hand sheet former. Mix the beaten pulp to avoid the pulp clump and free out the water from the hand sheet former. The wet hand sheet is formed on top of the flat screen. The wet hand sheet is needed to transfer on a piece of cloth carpet to absorb the water. We use ironing technique for the better surface of the hand sheet. This is the result of our hand sheet. Okay, first, the tearing testing. The tear testing will be performed by using a tear test machine. First, insert a paper and rip it into the machine. Before doing the test, make a short rip to the paper. The system will display the result of the test. Finally, record the data. The second one is folding testing. The folding test is to determine the maximum amount of paper can be folded by using a folding endurance testing machine. First, place the paper strip on the machine and adjust the paper tension to the standard. The number of folds result will be read once the paper is stripped. Tensile tens come next is to determine the maximum load of paper can be spent by using tensile test machine. First, insert the paper into the machine if the height is 100mm. Once the paper strip is repaired, the result of mixed load will be shown in the computer.